Hello, uh, my name is Jacob Bevan. Uh, this is my video for the Husky Den number one, uh, where I answer these five questions. First question is, uh, with your product or service, what problem are you trying to solve? Now, I'm sure if you've ever ordered a coffee or hot chocolate from a, a coffee shop, like Dunkin' Donuts or something like that, uh, you've burned your, your tongue on that. Uh, so what my product does is it's able to help uh, prevent that from happening, and I'm sure everybody would love to not have their tongue burnt. Uh, second question is, uh, what are your core competencies? Um, so things that are, you know, you're passionate about, uh, something that you do that's hard to replicate or to reproduce, that's hard for other people to reproduce. Uh, I'm very passionate about the world of business. I find myself, you know, watching movies that are about business for fun, not for classes, just because I love it. I also watch the stock market, you know, just for the fun of it. Uh, something that I do better uh, than anybody else uh, is my dedication. Uh, in today's world, there's a lot of people that believe that they should just have something handed to them. Uh, whereas I grew up uh, being raised, being taught that you have to work for everything you want. Uh, so I, I usually all set a goal and I dedicate myself to, to that goal and I do whatever I can to get to that goal. Uh, question number three is, what is your specific business idea or model? Alright, so uh, say we have uh, we have a Dunkin' Donuts cup right here. Um, I have a sleeve that goes around that, that uh, cup uh, and it'll display a color. Now, the color will change when the temperature of the coffee reaches a point that won't burn your tongue. Um, that's used through something called their chromium technology. Uh, Coors Light cans. The mountains change blue when it gets to when it gets a, a temperature that's good enough to drink. Uh, it uses that sort of same technology. Uh, and as for my business model, uh, I believe that I can keep a steady flow of revenue coming in for my customers uh, because uh, this this product, you know, it's not going to last forever. You know, it's not going to be a one use thing, uh, but it, it'll be created enough to have around you know 200 uses, so that way customers will have to keep keep purchasing it and I'll be able to keep revenue coming in from them um, so that's how I can keep my business alive. Uh, also I plan to in, in the future try and uh, get some contracts set up with either Dunkin' or Don Dunkin Donuts or Starbucks uh, you know one of them buy the rights to my product uh, and then I could sell directly to let's say Dunkin Donuts and um, and they'll be able to sell their sleeves at my at their stores uh, all around the country, which would be another great way to bring in some some new revenue, not only through having my contract being exclusively only with them, uh, but also through selling at, at their stores. Uh, my my uh, next question is identify your potential customers. Uh, what is your market segmentation? Uh, my pe uh, my my potential customers would be anybody who drinks a hot beverage. Uh, they have coffee. Uh, vanilla chai lattes, uh, hot chocolate, there's tons of them out there uh, that, that these coffee stores sell. Um, some examples of these would be, you know, your college kids that are drinking coffee to stay up and study for their exams, or people who wake up early and go to work and need, you know, get that quick boost with their, with their coffee. Uh, so a broad range of people. Um, but people that don't have, you know, the time to sit there, make their cup of coffee and just sit there all day and just wait with it, let it cool and they're sitting at home not doing anything. That's for the people that you know have jobs. You know they have to go keep going, go right away, go through the drive-through and get coffee. Um, so it, it definitely a wide range of people that I'll be able to sell to. Uh, the fifth question is, what is your competitive advantage, uh, and how do you differentiate differentiate yourself from existing competition? Uh, so through tons of research, I have not been able to find a product like this. Uh, so I really don't have many people to compete against. Um, I, you know, if, if there's nobody to compete against, you know, I really don't have to have an advantage over over somebody. Uh, but if someone does come into uh, does come into the market, uh, you know, I'd be the first one entering the market, so I you know have a little bit more leverage over them. Another way that I can, you know take up more of this market is getting the contract with Duncan like I was speaking of. Um, if I have a contract with them and I sell at their stores and I also sell in retail stores like you know, an example could be a Kmart or Walmart, um, Weiss Markets, you know, 
giant foods, you know, all those, those retail uh, grocery stores, things like that. Um, it would be very, very hard for somebody else to take up uh, more than 50% of, of the market. Um, so I definitely would, you know, have most of the market share with selling through coffee shops and, and grocery stores and things like that. So I, do, I definitely do think this is a great idea. I haven't found anything like this out there. Um, definitely something that a lot of people, you know, do complain about. Nobody likes having their, bur their tongue burnt. Uh, if they say they love having their tongue burnt, they're lying to you. Um, definitely a product that that will help out the you know the country, the world. You know, I I, just, I think is a very great idea. Uh, so I'd like to thank you very much for taking your time to. Uh, you know, watch this video, learn a little bit more about my product, uh, and I hope to see you again in the next round. Thank you very much.